just crazy in here. Our contestant, Georgia State School Superintendent Kathy Cox, is elected to go for the million dollars. Yeah, and for such a noble reason, you don't want kids dropping out of school. I really don't. So I'm going to go for With it. With tears in your eyes, you made this decision. What an exciting way to kick off the third season of fifth grade. Kids, this is an awesome first day of school, huh? Yeah! What's going through your mind right now? We don't, we don't get here very often. I'm excited. I'm nervous. But I also feel like, you know, the last 10 years of my life, I've just been saying, go for it. Good for you. So I'm just going to go for it. You ready to see it? I'm ready. All right. The world history question worth $1 million is this. Who was the longest reigning British monarch? Who was the longest reigning British monarch? Wow. Who was the longest reigning British monarch? Two things are coming to my mind. Two things. Two things. Elizabeth I was important, Spanish Armada, 1588, all that good stuff, but she really did the longest reigning. No, that's not what she's known for. Okay. The two others that are popping up in my head are Henry VIII. But again, you, when I taught my students about British history, Henry VIII, generally, you talked about what he did with his wives. And, you know, as much as Henry VIII was important and there's all this stuff about him and he separated from the church and he created the Church of England, all that stuff, you don't hear him talking about him being the longest reigning. So what pops up in my head, oh gosh, I'm shaking. Um, is Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria, a whole age was named after her. This has got to be the answer. Oh, if it's Henry VIII, oh, I'm going to be mad. But it's not. He wasn't there the longest. He got too fat and he died. Um, so Queen, Queen, it's got to be Queen Victoria. OK, I did my best. I did my best. Queen Victoria. Ooh, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria, I believe. I believe that Queen Victoria was the longest reigning British monarch, and I'm going to lock in my answer. Making me teary eyed when you're sitting there going, do your best, do your best, do your best. You knew so many facts. How long do you think she reigned? I wow, I think it was, I think it was over 70 years. And she took the throne young, and I'm just hoping it was longer than Henry VIII, because he reigned a while. Look at the board. Okay. Oh boy. Longest reign. Yeah. Yeah. You thought that she reigned for over 70 I years. I think. You think. Oh, I hope, I hope. The reality is Queen Victoria yeah. only reigned for 63 years. Oh dear. 63? Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Is that she 63? she only okay. she only reigned for sixty-three okay. years. Okay. Okay. Only. But that was enough to be the longest reigning <laughs> British monarch. You just won a million dollars.
fantastic. Your parents took you to England. That's how I know that. Before we write that check for one million dollars, I want to tell you this is way better than Rocky Balboa. Oh yes! Way better. <laughs> Unbelievable. Not only are you the first person to win a million dollars on the show, you are the first person that ever gets to say this. There's the camera. Hi, I'm Kathy Cox, Georgia State Superintendent, and I am smarter than a fifth grader. Hey, she is. It's got to be pounding right now. A little bit. You almost <laughs> just lost half a million dollars. Of course. Yeah. George Smoot the Third. I just, love that name. That's uh, just the coolest. My cousins name. all call me George the Third. If you George the Third. If you want to, you know. That's I like, don't know. It sounds smarter the other way. George <laughs> Smoot the Third. We are at the million dollar question. <laughs> This doesn't happen often in this classroom, but we are about to see the subject for the million dollar question. And let me tell you how it's different from the other questions. First of all, none of your classmates who have served you well today. They did great. Can help Thank you, you out. It's just you, professor. I'm gonna show you the subject, at which point you can choose whether you wanna see the question or not. But once you elect to see the question, you have to answer. Answer correctly, and you walk out of here with one million dollars and a lube shot. <laughs> answer incorrectly, you're gonna give back $475,000, okay? That's not so cool. Not so cool. <laughs> you ready to see the subject? Yes, I am. Do not hit the button too quickly. All right. Is there any subject that if it was up there, you, you know without a doubt you wouldn't go for it? Clearly vocabulary. Vocabulary. <laughs> like I said, you and I could hang together. All right. The subject of the million dollar question is this. U.S. geography. <laughs> well, I know a lot about geography. Right now you have half a million. And I have a half a million. You can walk out of here right now with half a million. Yeah. You get it wrong, you're gonna drop down to 25,000. It's just a question of, do you want to risk the half a million or not? Dude. What, what, what are you thinking? I mean, how, how, how strong do you feel in U.S. geography? I feel pretty good. I think I could probably get it. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what the risk is about going sure. forward. Because some of my friends said, if you ever get this far, stop. Well, some of those friends must have been watching this show, George, because we have only had a handful of people make it to this point. George, take a look at the board. You can figure the odds out yourself, gambling man. Only 14 contestants have made it this far. 10 of them dropped out and went home with $500,000. Four of them saw the million dollar question. Three of those were wrong and lost $475,000. Only one person has made it to the million dollars. So figure the odds out yourself, Mr. Nobel Prize winner. What are you gonna do, George Smoot the third? I love the fact that you're asking people who get 10 bucks a week in allowance <laughs> what they would do, and all, the, all of them are going, go for it, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling which way this is gonna go. Let me ask the crowd, what do you think he ought to do? <laughs> I want everybody to put in money. <laughs> 
<laughs> so what are you thinking, George? Ah. The lucky medal. Yeah. So what are you going to do, George Smoot the third? You want to lock that in? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> It's Million Dollar Madness. See the question, see if you'd get it right. And more importantly, what are you thinking? Will Professor Smoot win the loot? Up next, oh, hey. on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Classroom. We have Nobel Prize winning scientist George Smoot III. He has $500,000 in his pocket. We are about to see the million dollar question. All right, Professor, the subject of the million dollar question is U.S. geography. The one million dollar question is what U.S. state is home? to Acadia National Park. What U.S. state is home to Acadia National Park? I'm thinking it's either, it's on one of the coasts, and so it's either gotta be Maine or California. Why am I thinking about California? Sort of, Maine sort of feels better, but I, no, California keeps sticking in my mind. Acadia National Park. I'm gonna go with Maine. How did you come to Maine? Well, tell, not, tell me what I've you were thinking. Been everywhere, done everything. <laughs> been everywhere, done everything? <laughs> like not the quite, but, Kiss, so. but I, I know I visited places like that. I just got to remember where it was. It's a, it's a memory search, you know. Professor, for one million dollars, the question was, what U.S. state is home to Acadia National Park? You said Maine. Oh, man, I hate this part. You made history one time with the Big Bang Theory, but tonight, you made it again! You made it again! I go to Las Vegas, I'm going to the Big Bang Lube shop. <laughs> that is so cool. You are only the second person and the first man that ever gets to say this. There's the camera. I am George Smoot. 
and I am smarter than a fifth grader. I do have one more remaining question. It is the bonus question, and it multiplies your winnings by 10. We could turn 25,000 into a quarter of a million dollars. The subject of today's bonus question is this. World history. I came with nothing, and I'm prepared to leave with nothing. I'm going for it. Locking it in. You know what? You said, I came with nothing, I'm prepared to leave with nothing. I'm not going to let you leave with nothing, because even if you miss it, I'm going to give you a prepaid credit card for $2,500, because you're above $2,500 in winnings. You ready? I'm ready. Today's bonus question is this. What communist leader is shown in this picture? What communist leader is shown in this picture? Well, it's in black and white. That looks post-World War II. I, you know, I, it looks a whole lot like the guy who's banging a shoe on the table at the UN, even though I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is, uh, that is Nikita Khrushchev. Lock it in. I know the video that you're talking about, and the guy banging his shoe in the video is Nikita Khrushchev. The guy in this picture is Nikita Khrushchev! I want to say this. We have been doing this show for years. You are the most impressive player we have ever had. Thank you. You used none of your cheats. You used none of your cheats. You ran the table. And you got the bonus question. And very rarely in this classroom does someone not only get the money, they get the honor of saying this. My name is Jeff Wallenitz. I'm having a kid, and I am smarter than a fifth grader! <laughs> Bye, everybody.